we're back and in this video i'm going to be opening up a lot of my older pokemon products that i have we have some x and y we have some sun and moon all because i want to find some cards that i want to get graded and i also want to pack them myself so let's just see what we get inside these random products that i've got together so this is my random little selection of products that i have so this one there's some sword and shield but as you guys can see in there there's a cosmic eclipse pack and I just really want to open it, specifically for that uh, Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus alternate art, whatever it is, back in Sun and Moon. I've never really opened a Sun and Moon pack before in my life, so I just want to see what my luck's like. We've got two of these boxes to open. Uh, I have a random Cosmic Eclipse pack. We have this beautiful tin that we're going to open last because it does have an Evolutions pack inside of it. And of course, I want to get that Charizard because, you know, my luck's just great like that. And then we also have this other interesting little product. So let's just start with one thing at random. Let's just take a look at this little thing. This is this is pretty cool. So I haven't seen too many of these, but they've randomly randomly been popping up at different places. But they're just like metal deck shields. But they do contain two packs. Now I can't really see right now, but I think it's Ultra Prison. I don't really know what's inside that pack. Off the top of my head, I couldn't even tell you what generation that is because I can't read that. But it's Solgaleo, so I'm guessing it's Sun and Moon, but uh, let's just crack this open. There it is without the plastic. Let's see, can we get rid of this little thing too? I guess we can. I picked this up for like £22, I think, just because it looked cool. I never had anything like this. It's got two Ultra Prism packs, or maybe it was one Ultra Prism and a Burning Shadows pack, but I don't have anything like this, this product, so... I just wanted to check it out. But the little sticker said it was Ultra Prism. How do you open? Oh, it's a slide. Did I get scammed? <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope that you can lift this up. Oh, you can. Okay, and there we go. So let's take a look at these packs. Now, I don't know what packs these are because I've really not opened any Sun and Moon, I don't think. One Cosmic Eclipse pack I did get out of a PokéRef 4.0 pack. But that was Tokidoki Pokey who opened it when she was here. So I never personally opened one. But let's see what they are. So this was in the back. So it's a Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon. Uh, I know this is a set that people don't really care for. I don't even know what's in it to be honest. And then I'm hoping we get an Ultra Prism. Because I think that's a good value pack. Yes! Look at that, I love this Giratina artwork. Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. Maybe I did open up one like this. Or was it X and Y Breakpoint or something? I don't know, but this is a cool little product. Uh, yeah, I guess you can store your like dice and stuff in there. Cool, uh, yeah, I like this. You don't really find products like this anymore. It's weird. Like nicely constructed stuff at a reasonable price, like 24 pounds. Well, I don't know if that's how much it retailed for. Because if it retailed for that, then that might have been pretty... I don't even know how to close this. But that might have been pretty expensive for about 24 if that's how much it came out at. Sun and Moon. I think the pack trick is four to the front. But we can start with Crimson Invasion. Because I know this pack is... Uh, I think the last time I checked, it's like £8 a pack. I don't know where the code card lies. I don't know if the code card tells... It does. Okay, so it's the old school code card. And it should be four from the back. All right. I haven't seen these arts before. I don't think I've ever opened. No, I've definitely never opened a Crimson Invasion pack. I think Burning Shadows I've opened. Let's have a look at these arts. A Chinchino. That's pretty cool. Show me. I like how that's dropped. Whoa. That is a really cool mischievous. I might give that into uh, one of the guys at Dead Universe Comics. He loves mischievous. So let me put that to the side. We got a Cacnea. A Lowland Geodude. It's interesting. I never played Sun and Moon. And I wasn't even in the Pokemon hobby, so I don't know anything about um, the Mega Beasts or whatever they're called. The Buzzwall and all of that nonsense. We get stuff full. Okay. The reverse is an Orangaroo. Nope. Orangaroo. Nope. Orangaroo. Man, I love how the reverse is on there. It's beautiful. Did we get anything? It's a gore, guys, but look how cool the reverse is. I wonder if that's for all of them. All of the reverses in Sun and Moon. Like I say, I literally, I don't, I think I might have opened like four packs total including this one so i have no idea what to expect i have no idea what the pack or the pool rates are like i have no idea or anything like that i don't even know what's in here but it's uh it's nice to see um 
a Giratina on the front. You can't ever go wrong with Giratina. My favorite modern card is Giratina's old art from Lost Origin. I think this might be the one where it's just like a full art Giratina. It's sort of like looking to the right. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see. Okay. So hopefully, actually the code card should just be like that. Okay, cool. Yes. No spoiling. Come on out. Let's see. Let's get something nice. Just drive me with some good luck. Again, I don't think I've opened an Ultra Prism pack before ever. So I don't know any of these arts. Whoa. That's a really cool energy. I like that a lot. We get a Rotom, that's pretty cool. Spirit Tomb, looking amazing. Magnemite, pretty standard. Weasel, I like how that's drawn. Another Magnemite, okay. An Execute, interesting. A Shinx. Oh, whoa, I, I forgot that these were in this generation. Okay, so this is a Prism, a Prism card, I think they're called. You'll have to enlighten me. I don't know what they're called, to be honest. A special Energy, Super Boost Energy, Diamond, Prism, whatever they're called. Oh, Ultra Prism. Makes sense. Do we get anything behind it though? Come on out. Type null. Type zero basically. The same as our hit. I don't know if this stuff has any value, but it looks really cool. I love the hollow on that. I kind of want to just get that graded by ace just to see what the label would look like. I'll have to have a look. But that's really cool. And with that, we'll move on to the next product. We'll be opening up both the RCS boxes. I'll show you the contents of one of what's inside here. Uh, but because the box is pretty big, I'll just crack open the other one. Once we've looked at everything, we can open it all together. So there's what we get inside. Now, you guys can see something very interesting. This promo is a thing of beauty. Let's see if I can get it out without it getting damaged. Look at that promo. I'm glad to have this in my collection. I don't I think it goes for around 8 to £10, just the promo alone. And I bought these boxes from card house collectors or no, collectors card house i always get them mixed up see i always get it mixed up card house collector nope i got it wrong again i'll put it on screen <laughs> but basically pokey dean and pokey chloe's uh store i picked up four of these because i wanted some to display the box looks amazing but you get this beautiful promo in it as well you get this really really cool look at the detail on this little pin that's the coolest pin i've seen for sure like on a throne that's so cool those two reasons or those two things alone are a big reason as to why you know i wanted to get this box but just look how cool that looks let me put that up next to my pikachu and yampa let me not forget yampa and we have the pack selection so you get two brilliant stars a chilling rain wow these packs feel really thick i don't know why i'll have to check how many cards are in there but they they just feel really thick i don't know and then, of course, you get the Cosmic Eclipse pack. Oh, there's a code card for you guys. I was wondering where that would be. There's the code card. Oh, it's the newest. It's the newer ones as well. Okay. So that's a really cool pack selection. Uh, I've got two of these, so let me just crack open the other one. So there's another two Brilliant Stars pack, a Chilling Rain, and a Cosmic Eclipse with the Piplop and Blastoise. So, what do we have so far? I've done it in a weird order. So... So we have two Chilling Rain, four Brilliant Stars, and two Cosmic Eclipse packs. Um, interestingly, like I said, I bought these boxes off of uh, Collector's Card House. I said it right this time. Um, actually, from in their store. Uh, this pack I managed to get for like six pounds, I think it was, with uh, again through Collector's Card House, uh, with a whatnot discount. So I got it for six quid. I think it was usually like six. So we have another Cosmic Eclipse pack to open. But let's just see what we can get. Brilliant Stars, of course. Awesome little set. Sword and Shield. We know all about it. I know all about it, at least. Not, I mean, I say that, but I think what the biggest hit out of this is the Charizard, I think. The one where it's like flying in the background. That's a really cool art. So let's just see what we can get. My luck in Sword and Shield is horrible. I don't expect to get anything. I don't know what it's like in uh, Sun and Moon. Hopefully those three packs can be something nice. I love this card. It's actually a really cool card. Just a regular non holo uh, with Magmortar and Electivire, just back to back. Really cool. Like Guts and Kiaska. You guys know, you know. I'm really getting into Berserk. Let me know if you guys watch it too, or seen it, or read it, however you digest. Let's see. I want to see something nicer. 
you know, I'm not expecting anything out of Sword and Shield because I already know my luck is exactly like that. It's collapsed. There's nothing there. Decrepit. I love that art. Beautiful art. I think that's Kanda. Let's see. Anything in the reverse? Breloom and an Ice Cube. It's always strange to me. Um, I don't remember Ice Cube ever being in Sword and Shield. I did play the games, not the DLC. If he came out in a DLC, that would explain why I never saw him because I never played the DLC. But in the main game, I never played him. Absolutely no idea. I thought he was a Gen 9 Pokemon. I was absolutely wrong. Well, come on now. Let's see something nice out of Brilliant Stars. Leaf out the bad pools. Come on out, Tropius. Clado. I love this. It looks like a Michael Bay. I love the art. Execute. Grammar. Come on now. Let's see, let's see a trainer gallery at least. So reverse into a Horn Crow V. Okay. Okay. That's about, you know, the best of the hits that I would expect to get out of Sword and Shield. So, <laughs> until we get to the Cosmic Eclipse, uh, you know, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath is basically what I'm going to tell you. We've had one hit so far from three packs. Not bad. Not bad so far. Brilliant Stars. I haven't really opened up too much of. But, I'm not like... I, I like Charizard, but I'm not a big fan of Charizard. So, I, you know, if there's a big set with a Charizard, I don't really, really care. Honestly, normally. So, let's just see if we can get something nice anyway. Come on now. Cafe Master, didn't we just get him? Let's see if we get anything else. It's a Professor's Research Hollow. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You guys can see why my Sword and Shield luck is the worst. The worst on the planet. We've got two more Chilling Rain. What's interesting is the Blaziken can out of Chilling Rain. The alternate art has gone absolutely bonkers in price. But I really don't like it. I think it looks ugly. I love the Galarian Moltres alt art. That's such a beautiful card. I think that might be one of my next few pickups that some other things i'm looking for i will be at london card show so i'm going to be looking for it there but let's see if we can get some absolute fire come on now i want to see uh, galarian moltres thwacky oh okay well there you go right i didn't expect that at all we have a gold urn of vitality look at that i didn't expect that at all <laughs> i don't get this type of luck i don't get this type of luck i am ah uh, that's nice that's an urn of vitality so does that mean Someone's vitality has been like cremated. Is that representative of my luck in Sword and Shield? That's it, cremated there. And this was it. This was it. That was the last ever hit I will get. And then I'm done forever. Let's see. I would really like to see that like Galarian Moltres. So come on now. Let's, uh, you know, it's not like I'm asking for too much, is it? The second biggest hit out of the set from two packs. We already got a gold card. Let's see. Welcome in Lantern. Welcome me to a hit. Come on now. Galarian Slowpoke. I love that. Weedle. Clubopus. I love this card. Marie. Okay. A welcome in Lantern. In two. A Malamar. Not quite a Moltres, but close. But now we are on to the three Cosmic Eclipse packs. The artworks look so cool in this. I think I bought this card off my cousin. Like just a regular Blastoise and Piplup because... It was a little bit like moderately played, let's say. So I picked up for a couple quid off of him. But again, I haven't opened. Uh, oh, okay. I haven't opened uh, much of Sun and Moon in general. So, <laughs> but I do know that code card is not good news. There's a Rapid Dash. That's cool. A Roxy Phantom. I really like that art. That's really cool. A Lolan Grandma. Magnemite. Eevee. Flub Baby. Natu again, so the reverse, such a beautiful reverse, in two, a muck, okay, a muck, I hope my pack luck runs a muck, <laughs> I'm not getting a hit now basically, I, I made that joke, I shouldn't have, I just jinked myself, I just jinked myself, let's see though, alright, all right, all right. Wait, let, let's see the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. That's the only card I really want to say. I had a quick look before we got into this, but I want to see. I want to see something cool. I haven't again seen a lot of these arts. Cosmog. I don't even really know what that is to be honest. Chinchow, Slugma. That's a cool little art. That's like how I make my thumbnails. All right. Do we get a cool reverse? Whoa. Okay. A Solgaleo reverse. That looks pretty cool. I, I actually love the Sun and Moon reverses. Do we get anything nice behind it though? Oh, a Como -o 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 Hollow. I like how the Hollow is all, the, all over the card. That's really cool. I, I don't think I've ever noticed a Hollow like this. Oh. 
I'm guessing it's supposed to be like that. That's really cool. All right. I mean, this is uh, already better than my luck in <laughs> Sword and Shield. Uh, I, I know there's the gold card there, but um, you can see it's just taking the mick. It's an urn of my good luck. It's a cremation of my good luck. That's all that is. But we have one last Cosmic Eclipse pack to open. I have a good feeling about this. About this pack. So come on now. It's a floofy pack. I think this is the one I got from uh, Collector's Card. Well, Pokedean's store. Or whatnot. Oh, I spoiled it. Okay. Well, let's pretend like we didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Still, I would say still me some good luck. Whoa. What on earth? Dragonium Z. <laughs> I think I watched that anime when I was younger. All right, we've got a great catcher. I know you're not grashing me a great... <laughs> a Pom, I love this art. Beautiful. All right, Dupida. The reverse is a Pangoro. That's cool. Reverse into a Palasand. A Palas... And we're on to our last product already. Now, this does contain three Sword and Shield packs, much like the Arceus V boxes. However, this does have an Evolutions pack in it. And I've never, ever opened an Evolutions pack. So, I just want to see what that feels like. This I bought off of Chaos Cards a few months ago. And I just want to open up an Evolutions pack. The prices of them, I think, are like, what, 25 to 30 quid now per pack. And I bought this, I think, 25 to 28. I don't remember exactly. But there should be an Evolutions pack inside of here. I don't remember what the other pack selections is. But let's have a look, see what we get. You get the promo, of course. Pretty standard, pretty ugly, but nice. Is it damaged? Because you always get these damaged. Oh, it actually, it's pretty good. Nope, never mind. You guys see that? You guys see that right there? It looks like a little bump or something. But yeah, that's just that's just what happens. I don't know. The, I opened up uh, an older tin a while ago with a Grookey or a Rillaboom, and it was just absolutely battered. It was battered. But let's see what packs we get inside. Let's have a look. You got the code card there for you guys. Okay, the first pack is not a great pack to get, but okay. Let's see what we get though. So yeah, Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash. Horrible. Base Sword and Shield. And there's the Evolutions pack. Now I've never opened up an Evolutions pack, so I'm excited to open it. I I'm hoping for something nice. But we do have, uh, you know, some horrible sets to go through first. Base Sword and Shield and two packs of Rebel Clash. Let's see if I can at least get a pack or a, a card worth grading from <laughs> either of these. I really don't even know what's big in Base Sword and Shield. I think it was just like a Lapras. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember whatsoever. But we're going to get something nice. I thought I spoiled the... Uh, I thought I spoiled the uh, rare, but no, that's not the rare. Okay, leaf out of the bad pools, come on now. I, I'm just throwing this stuff now. Hitmonchan, Goldeen. Was that two Goldeens? No, it's a Sea King. Okay, Rosalia. Celtic, Silly Cobra. Let's see something nice. It's an Oranguru, another reverse Oranguru and a Feeble. Okay, you know, I'm not expecting anything out of Sword and Shield, and uh, I wouldn't really care to see anything nice out of Sword and Shield because, well, it's Rebel Clash and Base. I'd like my pack luck to, uh, you know, be spent nicely uh, and be put into, why is there random stuff here? And be put into uh, this Evolutions pack. Of course, you have the Charizard base reverse. You have all the EX cards. They look so cool. So let's see. Scoop up, Ness. Scoop me up. Something nice, I guess. I don't even think I've opened a Rebel Clash pack myself before. That's a cool art. I like that. The reverse is a Truffield Stadium and a Mandibuzz. Okay. I'm not buzzing after opening that. Uh, that's all we've had so far, by the way. Uh, I was expecting just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But we have one last Rebel Clash before we get to an Evolutions pack. And it's crazy. Evolution booster boxes are, what, 700 quid now, I think? It's absolutely ridiculous. It's crazy. It's craziness. Still, still me some good luck. Sonya, 
Mascarene, Hatteren, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Snowbar. The reverse is a Medicham. Did we get anything nice? Nope, it's a Snorlax. <laughs> but now we are on to the pack I was really excited to open. The reason why I wanted to make this video. Not only to open up the Arceus boxes, but also I really just want to open up an Evolutions pack. It's X and Y, so I think it's three. Back to the front. I don't know what the pull rates are like at all on this set whatsoever. Uh, okay, I didn't spoil the code card. Got the 50-50 chance. Three for three. If this card is a big hit, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit on the bottom left, it looks like. A little bit on the top left. Misty's Determination. Come on now. Polywell. Apologies if you can hear the ring. We have Revive. Come on, Revive my pack like Star You. Steel. I like how that's. I've never seen that. Growlithe. Ghastly, my boy. Charmander. The reverse is a Kakuna. In two. <laughs> Alright, well, that was my first ever Evolutions pack I had ever opened in my life. The coolest part about it is the energy. I really like how this still energy looks. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, this is why I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, veering towards a lot more Scarlet and Violet stuff because my pack like is just great. We got the gold card, obviously, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty sad showing, that isn't it? It's a pretty sad showing. Well, guys, I didn't expect too much, and uh, with good reason, I didn't get too much. But it was fun experiencing opening these packs for like the first time. Evolutions was my first time. Cosmic Eclipse, like I've never personally opened a pack before. I just wanted to see what it was like. And it was horrible. <laughs> my, my pack luck, like, it just isn't great. I can't get those like crazy one hit wonders. So I'll bear that in mind for my other products. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.